Hey there everybody, DestroyerX here, and welcome to part 19 of Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. We are now in Ice Cap, and thank goodness we're only focused on one area of Ice Cap. Yeah, <laughs> um, Froggy isn't too hard to find in this level. Actually, he's in the, in the very beginning part of the level. What you can do is, there are some areas in the ice where you can jump, and crack the ice, or you can just throw a boulder and crack the ice that way, and you'll be able to find Froggy swimming about, and all you have to do is just um, fish him out and you're good to go. Um, however, in this particular part, there is an I there is a lure upgrade that you can get, and it's this. fortunately this is the only upgrade that is in an actual level for a character. I mean, Knuckles doesn't have any upgrades in his levels, neither does Tails, neither does Sonic, neither, neither does Amy, neither does E-102 Gamma. So, biggest unique in that as aspect. Um, however, I take it, it takes me a while to actually find the area that I need to get to, to actually get the upgrade. The upgrade actually is a lure upgrade, which if you're going for the level B and low A rank missions, then it's probably good to go ahead and go ahead and get it. But if you're just fishing, if you're just doing the level C rank mission, then you don't even need to bother with it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will tell you right now, um, it's going to, the the lure upgrade is going to be an area where you can just. Um, there's going to be somewhere in the water. There's going to be a skull, a dinosaur skull, and there's me throwing a boulder and cracking the ice. Woohoo! Um, there is an area underwater where there is a skull, a T-Rex skull, it looks like. Um, near the skull is actually where you need to act to um, get the lure upgrade. And the hard part for me in in this particular part, actually, here it is. If you can see through the ice, right, those bars right there, I show it briefly, but I may show it again. No, actually, I don't think I show it again for a while. But, um, there is a lure upgrade over there. Which is... Now, as far as getting to it, that takes me a while, because I don't remember for sure how to get to it. I tried looking... Before I even started this... Let's play. But before I even started Ice Cap, I actually I actually tried looking for the um, directions on how to get to that particular um, uh, to that particular lure upgrade. Actually, before I even started Big Playthrough, I looked up the locations of the lure upgrades because I don't remember where the lure upgrades are from memory because well I don't play Sonic Adventure for Big the Cat. I really don't. But yeah, this is going to be, I will warn you right now, the video is about 30 minutes long. I'm not going to cut up the video because, yeah, I, I'm just embarrassed by this part. This is one of those things where, this is one of those what not to do when you're doing a let's play, I suppose. Um, this is why some people who do LPs, they do practice runs first before they actually record their LPs to avoid things like this happening. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm very embarrassed by this part. But, since this video is going to be 30 minutes long, I think I might as well go ahead and kill some time and talk about other things that are going to be going on. Well, I'll talk about random things, let's just say that. Um... Well, let's see. Let me go ahead and pull... I actually have some issues... Some uh, Sonic the Comic for the Sonic Adventure playthrough. I mean, Sonic Adventure story arc saved on my um, computer. I'm just going to try and find those real quick. Uh, shouldn't take me too long. Here we go. Sonic Adventure Comic. Sonic the Comic. And... Come on, where are you? Issue, issue 178, I think, maybe? I don't know. I think this is, might be one of them. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. The story arc for Sonic... The story arc starts in... Was it 178, it looks like? Yeah, issue 178 is Sonic the Comic. Uh, let's see. Well, that's not where it starts, but that's one of the issues. I'm trying to find the ish, the actual, uh, I'm trying to find it. Where are you? Is it 174 is where it starts? Um, I don't think so. As you can probably tell, I haven't actually, you know, looked at my, this comic in a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing an LP and I'm talking about Sonic the Comic. Go me. <laughs> Looks like it starts at issue 175. So let me go ahead and unzip that particular issue. Alrighty, Sonic the Comic issue 175. For those who are unaware, Sonic the Comic is the um, the Egmont Fleetway UK Sonic the Comic is the official comic book for Sonic the Hedgehog in the UK. Um, what we have here at the beginning of the beginning of the storyline, it's called The Coming of Chaos for issue 175. Um, Dr. Robotnik, he is basically despondent in the fact that he just recently had one of his latest um, schemes fail. Well, at this point, it was it was prior to this ish, to this story arc that um, a, that Doctor Robotnik he's basically got to the point where he's tired of losing to Sonic all the time. He had Mo he was he did have Mobius under his control and he failed to and he actually he ultimately failed the, and he lost his rule. He ended up losing his losing as the, he ended up becoming dethroned as the dictator of. Mo Mobius and whatnot. So, at this point, he is very suicidal, and he is just ready for everything to end. And then he is wanting to destroy the planet and whatnot. He actually tried to do that in a previous storyline, and um, well, he failed miserably. Well, he actually almost succeeded, but he ended up failing at the last minute. So, yay. <laughs> Oh yeah, let me look back over at my video. <laughs> yeah, this is the area in which I need where I can find the um the lure upgrade. And I thought I saw some directions in one of the sites I pulled up that it, it's inside the T-Rex skull and it's not. So I messed up on that one. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to Sonic the Comic. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, as you can see down there, let me just point point it out real quick. As you can see, is outside of the T-Rex head, there is the actual lure upgrade. So, I'm actually, I'm close, but no cigar. Yay. <laughs> um, should I talk about Sonic the Comic again, or should I talk about the game again? Hmm, well... Yeah, let's do Sonic the Comic again. <laughs> anyway, um, what we have on Sonic the Comic is that um, uh, to try and cheer his master up, Grimer. Oh, come on, big go, go, go! I'm, I'm almost there, and I, I'm trying to do two things at once. I'm looking at the sc the screen right now. This one screen that has the video going. The other screen has my the comic that I pulled up. So. I'm trying to do two things at once. Oh, there! Here we go. Alright, now that we have the lure upgrade, I'm gonna... I'll end up going back to trying to fish for Froggy. And there's the drowning music! Yippee! I'm going to drown! <laughs> no, not... Uh-uh. I didn't drown. But it is possible to drown! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to Sonic the Comic. Um, Robotnik eh, does have a lackey in, this, in Sonic the Comic. His name is Grimer. And despite all the abuse that Grimer takes from Robotnik, he he stays by Robotnik's side and 
well, yeah. <laughs> One of the things that Grimer ends up doing in, the, in this particular story arc, he ends up releasing Chaos. And Chaos is a lot... He looks a lot different compared to his in-game um, character model. Very, very different. Um, he ends up attacking a city and, well... Yeah, not much else can be said about it. He ends up basically, um... Well, he ends up at a city and whatnot. Okay, he ends up in Metropolis City Zone. There we go. <laughs> anyway, um, Sonic tries to attack Chaos and... Well, he ends up not doing so well because Sonic, um, Chaos puts out... He has the power of projecting fear waves. Which, well... If a if there if if the if Chaos's victim is experiencing fear, then well, obviously they're incapacitated a little bit. They're f they're feeling fear, nervousness, so on and so forth. But Sonic he keeps going. He tr he tries to um, attack Chaos, and at some point he actually get ends up going inside Chaos, and ultimately he gets. Ultimately, Chaos ends up expelling Sonic from his body and retreats. And because of that, um, love a little effect, um, Sonic ends up with green eyes. Green eyes and slightly longer quills. They're not too, too long, but they're slightly longer. And of course, that's to pretty much, that pretty much explains. Well, his eyes are completely green, you know, but in the next issue, one which is 176, which I need to pull up. Go ahead and extract all the files from that. Oh, by the way, this is me trying to fish for Froggy and failing. Um... What I forgot to do is I noted this in the um, the previous part that um, well once you get a nibble on the line you have to hit down to hook your I mean to hook froggy or fish or whatever and that's what I failed to do because I completely forgot how to do it I thought that once you had once you have froggy or fish on your line and you just hit the A button and just reel them in. Or B button or whatever the button is. Um, so yeah, I completely goofed. <laughs> uh, boy, I really should have done a, a test playthrough before I even started this LP, but I didn't want to. So oh well. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to Sonic the Comic. And the next issue of Sonic the Comic, well, we have Sonic with green eyes. With and ultimately. I mean, his entire eye is green. And then eventually gets to a point where the, um... His, the, his eyes completely fade. Well, they don't completely fade, but the colors completely fade and whatnot. I mean, his eyes are not completely green anymore. However, what ends up happening is that, um... Oh, uh, what is that part of the eye? I don't remember what that part of the eye is called. Ah, uh, human eye. Let's look at that. Uh, what are you called? Iris, that's it. Okay, the iris... His iris ends up becoming... Turning from a... Well, it becomes green. So, that's how... The, Sonic the comic explanation of how Sonic gets his green eyes. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Anyway, um... Eventually, what ended up happening was, um... Let's see... Let's see, they find out that, um... That Chaos is made of a Chaos Energy... Uh, let's see, Grimer reveals to Robotnik that he has released Chaos, 
but the device that Robotnik des uh, designed to try and control Chaos, it doesn't work. And Grimer should have known that if he fa if he read his test notes and whatnot, and he doomed the entire planet. But Robotnik doesn't seem to mind. He's just like, this could get interesting. <laughs> Anyway, Porker Lewis, one of the Freedom Fighters in Sign of the Comic, he ends up um, setting up a device which tries to, which allows, it, which he uses to try to defeat Chaos, but it doesn't work initially. Um, it looks like, uh, let's see, Johnny. Oh, what's his name? Johnny Lightfoot, I think that's his name. I don't remember for sure. Um, he ends up repairing Porker's device, and well, however, um, he gets struck by Chaos. The device works, and Chaos is di has been dissipated for a little while. And what ends up happening is that um, Chaos is temporarily defeated, but a at a pretty high cost. Johnny. Lightfoot is dead. I think his name is Lightfoot. Let me look that up. Uh, I should... Uh, come on... Control that. Yeah, Johnny Lightfoot. There we are. <laughs> So yeah, there we go. Um, CS Johnny Lightfoot dead. And we go into issue 177, which I need to extract the files from that. Alrighty. Um, issue 177. Sonic blames himself for the death of Johnny Lightfoot. Oh, and by the way, I just now noticed that at the beginning of the um, Chaos story arc, I think it's at the beginning, let me take a quick look. Let's see. Yeah. At the very beginning of the Chaos story look, um, Amy go Amy's hairstyle is, is um, her Sonic Adventure hairstyle, which um, there's no explanation for it, but it could just be assumed that Amy decided to just comb down her quills or something like that. So, yeah. Anyway, we have Sonic. He blames himself for, um, for the... Um, Let's see, he blames himself for Johnny being killed by Chaos. Um, Chaos ends up heading, he's still alive, and he, and he ends up heading over to the floating island. Let's see, um, we have Knuckles and, John, and Porker Lewis, they're over at the um, Angel Island, monitor, trying to monitor things. And then all of a sudden, Chaos appears in the Emerald Chamber and tries to take the Chaos Emeralds. Because in the Sonic the... What, what's unique about Sonic the Comic is that, um... In Sonic the Comic, there are only seven Emeralds. There are six Chaos Emeralds, and then... Actually, there are seven Chaos Emeralds, let's just say that. Um... A long, long time ago in the Sonic the Comic Universe, there were seven Chaos Emeralds. And ultimately, at some point in the past, the seven Chaos Emeralds, they ended up splitting into... Well, six of the Emeralds got split up into... And that got split in half, and they became twelve Chaos Emeralds. Six remained on their floating island. The other six ended up going down to Mobius, to the service of the surface of Mobius. And actually the in Sonic the Comic, the gray Chaos Emerald is actually the most powerful emerald. It can actually control the uh, the powers of the other Chaos Emeralds and not the Master Emerald. 
which I'll get into that in a second. Um, eventually, the Chaos Emeralds get, and during the Sonic 3 story arc in, in Sonic the Comic, the the six Chaos Emeralds from Mobius, they get reintegrated with the six Chaos Emeralds on Floating Island. And as time goes on, those Emeralds get larger. Um, the Green Chaos Emerald, it actually grows the largest and it actually becomes the Master Emerald. It's actually the... that's actually the Emerald that keeps Floating Island in the sky, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> but despite the fact that the ma that the um, in terms of power, the Master Emerald is the most powerful. Well, it's second most powerful, more or less, because the Gray Chaos Emerald is still the most powerful one because it's the controlling emerald. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, let's see. We have Chaos trying to absorb the emeralds. Knuckles and Porker try to stop them, but they end up getting caught by Chaos's power to induce fear. Hmm. Let's see, Chaos starts absorbing the Chaos Emeralds. That pretty much ends that issue. Issue 178, we have Chaos is still trying to absorb the Chaos Emeralds. And what he ends up doing, what Knuckles ends up doing is that, um, he ends up uh, ejecting all the Chaos Emeralds from the island with the exception of the Chaos Emerald that, um, Chaos already absorbed because he absorbed one of the Emeralds already. But since the emeralds are have been separated from the island, well, the floating island ultimately crashes into the ocean. Knuckles ends. Knuckles wants to pretty much stay on the island and um, go down with it, and because he thinks that he his life has no meaning anymore, he he doesn't want to live and blah blah blah. Then Amy ends up whacking him with a bar off off panel. To pretty much grab, tug him along. Ultimately, what ends up happening is um, Amy, Porker, Tails, and Knuckles they end up escaping the island on the tornado. Which the tornado was redesigned in Sonic the Comic for. They end up re redesigning the tornado in this story arc to match the tornado look that was in Sonic Adventure, with no explanation at all. But, anyway, um, what ends up happening at the end of that issue is that, um, Sonic does end up going back to the Freedom Fires. He, because he exiled, him, exiled himself for a little while because of the fact that he blamed himself for Porker's death. And, but he comes back and, well, he's back for good. Let's see, so that was issue 178. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, 179. Let's do an extraction, shall we? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, issue 179. Uh, let's see, we have. Uh, let's see. Porker is trying to run test on Sonic because of his new green eyes. Oh, and there's me redoing the, there's me redoing the, um, restarting the level. The good thing is when you restart the level and you got, and you have the um, lure upgrade, you don't have to get the lure upgrade again, so that's good. So yeah, I'm almost done with the level. <laughs> I think it's, I'm getting close to the part where I actually figure out where I need to go. Let's see, at this point, 
I'm trying to figure out where, when in Sonic the comic not that um, Eggman changes his outfit. And it's actually... He actually ta changes his outfit in... Issue 178, he actually changes his outfit. But as far as his look goes, I mean, Eggman's look... Dr. Robotnik's look... I mean, he all he does for, to get his Sonic Avenger look, he just pretty much puts on some new a new coat and new pants, and that's all he does. That's all he does. He still looks the same, otherwise. Because, um, I will, I'm going to mention right now that, um, that, um, Eggman, uh, Son uh, Dr. Robotnik and Sonic the Comic, he did, at first he looked like his video game counterpart, and then, because, and then at some point in one of the issues, he ends up, um, taking the advice of an image consultant to alter his look, so he cases himself inside a giant egg, and, well, after he comes out of the egg, he's actually transformed into his look that he had in Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm looking at the time on my video, and it's 26 minutes and 45 seconds, so I'm almost at the end of the video. Actually, I'll probably go. I'll probably try and go into the Sonic the comic at another time. I because I'm getting close to the end of the video already, and well, I don't think I can actually explain the Chaos story arc in with the limited amount of time I have left. So, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, if you are interested in Sonic the Comic, I would say that you would go ahead... I would say go ahead and, um... Well, just go ahead and check it out. I mean, you might be interested. Maybe, maybe not. You never can tell. I think I'm getting to... At some point, I think I end up figuring out what I need to do to actually hook Froggy at some point. Well, it has to be pretty soon because it's... I mean, I'm 28 minutes in. I think it's around this time I've actually looked up the instructions. But I don't remember for sure. Actually, yeah, it's around this time. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and say my closing now since I'm going to catch Froggy within the next few seconds. But um, if you like this video, which I don't expect many people to like the video, <laughs> but if you do end up liking the video, please feel free to like the video on YouTube. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please feel free to do so. And if you have any questions, comments, and concerns on how I can make my LPs a lot better, which I'm going to... I'm going to assume that many people will have suggestions based upon this video alone. <laughs> then feel free to subscribe, to leave those comments, and I'll respond to you as soon as possible. But until then, I will catch you all later. So take care, everybody. Ciao for now. Not too bad.